So the listener hears a different stimulus presented in each ear at the same time. This is a test of binaural integration, binaural separation, and interhemispheric transfer. Binaural integration is the ability to process different information being presented to each ear simultaneously. It assesses brainstem integrity, the cortex, and the corpus callosum. To calibrate, turn down the monitor for one channel. Check that the channel being monitored is directed to the appropriate ear. Mark the score sheet according to the ear being tested. Instruct the patient as follows. You will be hearing two numbers in each of your ears. Listen carefully in both ears and repeat all the numbers you hear. The order doesn't matter. If you are unsure of the numbers, please guess. The first few items will be for practice. You can also explain the number presentation in another way. So in the right ear, you may hear two and seven. And in the left ear, you might hear five and three, but you are re to repeat all four digits. The test takes around four to five minutes. Numbers one to ten, except number seven, are used as auditory stimuli. Present the test at 50 dB sensation level in reference to the SRT. The reference can also be the pure tone average or the 1000 Hz threshold, although the SRT is preferred. For a patient with hearing loss, present at their most comfortable hearing level. This test is relatively resistant to at least a mild peripheral cochlear hearing loss, especially high frequency hearing loss. Four numbers are presented dichotically in two steps. One, two numbers at the same time, one to each ear, and two, the next two simultaneous numbers, one to each ear. Five, four, two, one, two, one. Provide enough time for the patient to respond. It may require pausing the CD occasionally. The patient can write the digits or point to them on a response board if they can't respond orally. There are a total of 80 digits, 40 per ear, or 20 stimulus presentations. Six, three. Six, four, three? That was great. Feel free to guess that last number. Six, four, three, one? Count the number of correctly repeated digits for each ear separately. Divide by the number presented to each ear. Make sure to compare the results to normative data according to age. sequence contains three tone bursts made up of a low frequency tone or a high frequency tone with an interstimulus interval of 200 milliseconds. In each sequence, two of the tone bursts have the same frequency, whereas the third is of a different frequency. 
patient reports the combination of high and low tones they heard. For example, high, low, high. This is a test of frequency discrimination, temporal ordering, and linguistic labeling. It assesses cortical integrity and interhemispheric transfer. So you'll be hearing three successive tones. Each tone will either be high pitched or low pitched. For example, low, high, low. Okay, so now it's your turn. Guess what you think these three tones are? Beep, beep, beep. High, high, low. Flip job, now let's try it once more. Beep, beep, beep. Low, high, low. Now we're ready to start the test. The patient can either hum or describe the patterns heard. Try both humming and verbal conditions with the patient. The humming and verbal conditions involve different parts of the brain and may help in identifying the site of lesion. There are 30 sets for each ear, one point for each correct set. A percentage correct score is obtained for each ear. Again, make sure to compare results to age appropriate norms. are only screeners when done alone. They are part of an auditory processing assessment. There are also age-appropriate norms. They are generally unaffected by hearing loss up to a certain level. Be aware of confounding factors such as lack of motivation, attention, cooperation, and understanding. Do not confuse APD with ADHD, memory deficits, or learning disability. However, they may co-occur and APD could be a symptom of a more global disorder. Recommend the patient for a diagnostic APD assessment if he or she fails in any of the tests. 